Back to 13 News now at noon. The new Chesapeake Men for Progress are getting ready for their third annual Black Tie Scholarship Gala. It raises money for scholarships and mentoring services for children in Chesapeake. So joining me now to talk all about it is Al Alexander. Thank you for being here. Nice to meet you. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. You all are doing great work for kids right here in Hampton Roads, right in Chesapeake. Let's talk first about the new Chesapeake Men for Progress. What is the group about? Well, we started in, in in 2009 as an offshoot of the new Chesapeake Men for Progress. Um, our goal is to uh, give as many scholarships and mentoring programs as possible to the students in the city of Chesapeake. And with the actual education portion of it and the giving out of scholarships, of course, uh, benefiting children in Chesapeake, but what specifications are you looking for in order to give out those scholarships? All right. We've given out 21 scholarships per year to the students, to the top three African-American male students. But this year, we're also gonna have an additional um, scholarship for that a student can apply for, and it will be to any student that wishes to go to a historically black college or university. Oh, wow, okay. so anyone open to apply that fits those specifications. That's graduating from a public school in the city of Chesapeake. Graduating from a public school, okay. Now let's talk about the, the gala itself. Is this the main fundraiser that you all have every year? We have two, um, okay. two scholarship um, galas per year. The first one will be in November, and it will be um, this November, November uh, 17th. Okay, okay, so that's coming up next Saturday, but you have one that's gonna happen maybe in the spring or so as well? Yes, we have a scholarship breakfast that will take place the last Saturday in April. Okay, very nice, very nice. How can people find out more? Perhaps there are some folks that want to get involved in the organization. Can they go to a, a website, a social media page? How can they get in touch with you? Yes, we are looking for all potential members. So the website is available, the New Chesapeake Men for Progress organization, Education Foundation organization. And uh, we also meet every Saturday, um, the first Saturday of every month. So we are welcoming all members, potential and, members. Awesome, and in addition, of course, to uh, people volunteering, I'm sure that there are some other needs of the organization. If people want to do donate directly, they can just go that through the website or do they need to go a different way? Yes, there's a PayPal set up on the website and we also do uh, mentoring that's available. But of course, they would have to be vetted before they um, are presented to children. Perfect, there's a process for that too. Give us one more time the details for the gala happening next weekend. All right, the gala will be next Saturday, and we're going to, this is our third annual gala. Mm -hmm. The first one recognized our former president, uh, Dr. Ward. The third one will uh, we'll look at three and represent three uh, pillars of the community. One would be um, Ms., uh, Reverend Tolliver, who mm -hmm. is the, who's a pastor in the city of Chesapeake, and then Ms. Eccles, who is a, a pillar with uh, music education. Okay. And then, um, and of course, those are the three people that we'll be looking, uh, looking to represent and give them an award. Thank you so much, Mr. Alexander. We appreciate it. And again, all this information will be on 13newsnow.com. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Ashley. We'll be right back.